And good morning, everybody. It's time now for Putnam County Today here on 94.3 WREV. With us, Nancy Michael. And uh, Nancy heads up the Putnam County 4-H Fair Parade. Yes, and we are so excited. Um, this year, it's going to be Friday. That's July right. July the 18th, and it's gonna, people are going to line up at 5, and the parade's going to start at 6.30. And we are just hoping that people are going to come out and join us and watch. We have approximately 80 participants so far. Wow. We're going to have floats, we're going to have companies and clubs, we have um, some surprises. Okay. We have some big rigs, we have um, emergency vehicles, we have um, just a lot of fun people who are going to have a great time. Um, our theme this year is join the club. It's a right. family affair. Um, join the club is actually um, the state 4-H wide theme and we've embraced that. And we've added it's a family affair because the 4-H fair here in Putnam Mount truly is a family event. Exactly. So, anyway, hope you'll be there too. I, we will. And, of course, we'll be uh, broadcasting the parade live Good. over the radio. So, um, in fact, Doug Wokon going to be doing kind of the play-by-play. -play. He usually does sports for us, but he's actually working for you guys that night. We are excited about that. Um, one of the highlights of this year's parade is our Grand Marshal, of course. Right. And we are going to be honoring our very own Dorothy and Gerald Edwards, who have headed up the parade committee for 30 years. Right. And in partnership with that, Jitsi Bingham right. has been at the reviewing stand welcoming all the participants and highlighting who they are. And she retired as well with her. And so they are going to all three be our Grand Marshals. That's awesome. And so I talked to Doug. He didn't promise me 30 years, but he guaranteed <laughs> me three. So okay. I got him on the hook. So we're excited that he's going to be with us again. Well, and you know, the funny thing is, Gen Z, not only did she talk about the different floats and stuff that come by, but she always had stories yes. from years past. Yes. And that was the best part about having Gen Z next to us. You know, yeah. She was great for filling time. <laughs> So we're sorry to see her go, but then of course Doug works for us doing ball games, and Doug's a great guy. He'll he'll do a great job. He will be wonderful, and I'm just so thrilled. Um, it's just really important to have um, somebody that's got a little experience with us. And with that being said, right. um, we welcome individuals that would like to help us with this committee. Um, I knew it was a big event, and we, you and I have enjoyed it as right. a fabulous event in Putnam County. But Dorothy Edwards has some pretty darn big shoes to fill. Exactly. And I've learned a lot, but I've got to talk to a lot of people, and I think we're going to have a great time. And I think the weather looks good. Yes. I think it might even be a little cooler than yeah. normal, which we'll, we'll all love that because it's been a pretty hot day the exactly. last couple of years. Well, I guess, too, we want to talk a little bit about the parade route. Where, yes. How's it starting? Where's it going? That type of thing. The parade route will start right at the very known, well, well known intersection of Wood, Washington, and Indianapolis, which is Dairy Castle, Teresa Cunningham's office, uh -huh. the liquor store corner. It will start there at 6.30, and it will um, be led by the Putnam County 4-H Horse and Pony Collar Guard. Okay. And they will lead the way west on Washington Street. The reviewing stand will be at the Greek Castle Masonic Temple and it will proceed west to Indiana Street, and then our participants will either choose to go straight to go to the 4-H Fair Parade, or Fair, I should say, or they will turn right and go north. You cannot turn south due to the construction. Right. That's okay. Um, and then people will just go back to their cars or wherever they started to line up. We have um, a couple of lineup areas, and most of our, our participants know where that is. Um, we have people that will be lining up at the high school parking lot, which is our primary area. Right. And then we have our Shriners and our tractors that we're going to put on garden side. We have horses and some walkers in the park. Then, we, of course, we have our queen candidates right. at the Dairy Castle and then our emergency vehicles. And we're, we're excited that we're going to have the National Guard with us this year. Great. And so they will be starting out at that point area. All right. Well, sounds great. Everything gets underway at six thirty Friday night. Yes, people will start lining up. At we hope that you know we know that chairs will be put out that morning right. about by eight o'clock, and people will reserve their spot along the route to cheer on people who are going to be in it. But yes, it will start from that point at six thirty, and the goal is to be at the Masonic Temple downtown by seven. All right. Well, it sounds great. And the best part about it, 
It's absolutely free. It is free. <laughs> and the only cost that I would ask that people consider is that when the parade is over, if they could help us clean up. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of candy and a lot of things that get thrown to the participants, and the Greencastle Civic Lead is generously going to be last in the parade, and they are going to help us clean up the route. But we would ask that people just um, be respectful of the lawns that they right. are in and help us out. It makes it go a lot quicker, and people have been really good about that in the past, but I right. just want to ask one more time if they would consider that. All right. Well, Nancy, we appreciate you taking time to be with us this morning. Good to be with you as well. And with us this morning also is Karen Headley. Karen, you're kind of heading up what's called the Parade of Fitness. And right. I think we want to talk a little bit about that and what people can get involved with it. Okay. Well, um, this is our 11th annual Parade of Fitness Run Walk. Um, it's this coming, this Friday, the 18th. It starts at 6 p.m. And uh, it will take half an hour approximately to run or walk. It's 1.5 miles. Okay. Um, it starts at the south steps of the courthouse. And we'll go on Washington Street to um, the Dairy Castle intersection, which is Wood Street. Um, they'll turn around, come back to the courthouse, and that's a mile and a half. Um, it's $15 uh, to run in the event. Um, people can run, walk, they can push strollers. Uh, we invite people of all ages to participate. All right. And where can people like find out more information or get registered? Or are you going to register that night? Or? Um, a lot of people. I've already. I've sent out. I've sent out some pre-mail registration forms. But uh, people can get them at the City Pool, okay. uh, Headley Hardware, Dairy Castle, uh, the Public Library in Greencastle, and Chicago's Pizza in Cloverdale. Okay. They just pick up a form. They can put it in the mail to me. Um, it'll need to get to me by Friday morning, obviously. Right. Um, but a lot of people just like to register um, at, they can, they can come at 5 o'clock to the courthouse steps on the south side. Um, from 5 o'clock to 6 o'clock, we'll have registration. And like I said, it's $15. Um, we have t-shirts for the first um, 50 um, who sign up, and this year they're neon yellow with a, a Ferris wheel on them with running, jogging cows. Oh, cool. In honor of the fair. So, um, the first 50 people get a t-shirt. Alright, sounds good. And you're using this to help promote fitness? or To promote fitness. I've always been into running and fitness, and uh, so it's just another event that the local people from in town or out of town can do. And um, also, we do no donate all the proceeds to Putnam County 4-H. Oh, okay, cool. And we've been doing that for, this, like I said, this is the 11th year. So um, we've donated um, a, a nice sum every year, and we donate that to the programs that uh, the Putnam County 4-H uh, feel, they use it the way they feel free to use it. So. All right, well, it sounds great. We encourage everybody. Of course, you always have a good audience there. Because oh. not everybody comes early to the parade. Yes, parades, and so. that's the, that's, when I was running in events, I would run in 5Ks, and they're, you're only, your only spectators are going to be, you know, the family members of the people running, right? Right. So I thought, man, this is just, would be the best opportunity oh, yeah. to have a run where, a local run, where there are going to be a ton of spectators, and they're sitting there for hours in advance. Exactly. And uh, so, and it's funny, people will sign up because they want to run in front of spectators. Really? And there will be people who are diehard runners who will say, uh, no, I'm not going to run in that because there's just too many people looking at me. So it's funny to see who it brings out. Okay, cool. Uh, and what's the phone number again? Uh, they can contact me, 765-720-0792. Um, All right, sounds okay. good. Karen, thanks so much Thank for stopping by. Hopefully we'll generate some more uh, interest in the uh, parade of fitness. We do too. Don't forget, if you're a nonprofit group or community organization and you have an announcement you'd like to get on Putnam County today, you can do so by giving us a call at 653 9717.